We just heard from uh, Mr. Yekini Nabena, who is the acting publicity secretary of the All Progressives Congress. And that, what he said, ran very contrary to the, uh, should we say, media briefing given by uh, Governor Simon Lalong of uh, Plateau State, who, and he seems supported by a number of other governors. I don't know if I remember very clearly. I think the governor of Kogi State was also there. But we have this morning with us in the studio Mr. Ben Oguntuashe, who is a member of the APC, to discuss, to give a little more perspective on the feeling or the thinking of members of the APC on you know, just what this controversy could be about. Because we also see now the papers are talking about showdown with the a national chairman of the All Progressives Congress. Mr. Ogunsuashe, you're welcome to Sunrise Daily. Thank you very much. What is your thinking? I'm, I'm, this is not the first time we're seeing this, uh, you know, contrary statement being issued after a press conference has been given. I think we saw that with the convention, whether or not there will be a convention or no convention uh, during the Oyegun period. But now uh, that you put that behind you, you are now here uh, looking at the 2019 elections and how you're going to get people to become candidates for those elections. And it would seem that your party is not yet decided, or there is some controversy as to what was actually decided at the last NEC meeting. Were you there? No, I monitored it. I was close to the place. You were close to the place. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it's not the same thing as being there. But, yeah, but I know everything that what, happened there. What transpired? The true position of the matter is that the party is divided into two. Some people like to have the red primaries. Some people don't want the red primaries. Most of those who are against the direct primaries are the governors and some state chairmen, where the national officers are in favor of uh, direct primaries. And the reason is quite uh, simple. If you truly care for this party, uh, people will prefer the direct primary. If you, especially you follow the examples of uh, what happened in, uh, in the various elections we have had, Anambra State, uh, Ondo State, Ekiti State, it's a case of... Uh, uh, authoritarianism of a minority of people. The, this delegate system is no longer suitable for Nigerian political evolution. We need to go to the, pri the primary, the direct primary direction is where we need to go. Divisions are very normal in any democracy. People will agree and they will disagree over a particular matter. But we should think, I mean, Nigerian people should think that when uh, the NEC comes out to communicate a final decision after arguments here and there, it should be what actually transpired you know, within the meeting, what do you think is the cause of the controversy that has come out as a result of, you know, the uh, con contrasting results or the contrasting decisions that we have heard? You see, the, there, are not, there, are two issues, there are two factors responsible for what you are seeing here. The first is that there are some governors who have not performed very well and who, if they face the, uh, the, the, if they face the people in a direct primary, they will not get a ticket again, and they will consider that very embarrassing to them. But there are also uh, some party executive members who believe that when we have primaries, it's the harvest time for them to rake in as much as possible. Let me give you the example in Ekiti State, uh, where I was very active. Now, there are delegates who made up to one million naira just because they are delegates, and that is sickening in the kind of politics that we are running. We don't want that situation again. So those who are sure that they have done very well, they can face the full electorate, they can win. They are the people who are actually for direct primary. No, Those... you're misunderstanding my question, sir. What I'm saying, what I'm asking is, after you have disagreed within the NEC meeting, I'm sure that everybody will be on the same page as to what actually came out of the NEC meeting. Yes. Why do you think we were misinformed, if, we're, if I'm to use that word, uh, by the press briefing given yeah. by the governor of Plata State? No, you see, NEC took a decision and some governors went again to meet with some state chairman to take another decision. And uh, you see, the president wants to have the red primary. The national chairman wants to have the red primary. Others, some others don't want it. And you're having uh, the public battle of these two forces who don't want uh, the red primary. That is what you are seeing. Mm. And I believe that sooner or later, this will be resolved amicably within the party. And I think that's even be resolved with the new information provided by the national secretary now that, okay, state, go and take a decision what you want to do, but make sure that you have majority of your members there, as majority stakeholders, agree on what way you want to go. What we've seen historically from political parties, particularly govern, governing political parties in the country, has been this trend of governors having a preeminent hold on how 
party policy or party manifesto is ultimately implemented. When you look at the APC situation now, obviously we heard about the meeting of state chairmen just yesterday and their kick against uh, the direct primary method. Uh, what, how does the party at the national level in particular counter the very heavy influence of state governors in, 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 in terms of how uh, you know, party philosophy will be implemented? Historically, state governors have had the kind of uh, uh, control over the party they've been having because they essentially are the people who are paying the piper. Now, the party has commenced a registration of members' campaign, and it is ongoing. We've, and there's the plan to begin to generate money from other means by asking uh, individual members to contribute on a monthly basis. Once this is done, I can assure you that the control of governors will be minimized. But in the present situation that we are talking about, I'm sure that the president will interview and the thing will be resolved before long. Well, two, two states come to my mind when you think about the challenges within state party chapters at the moment. In Kaduna, you have uh, Governor Nasser El Rufai in a running battle with Senator Sheh Hussani yes. over uh, the ambition of uh, the senator to potentially run for governor. We know that the, the party's uh, National Working Committee asked the state chapter of the party in Kaduna to reverse the suspension of the senator. The state party uh, the state chapter ultimately refused to do so. Uh, in a situation like that, uh, where you have a clear and open hostility between the national leadership and, say, a state uh, chapter of the party over, say, the interests of the governor, for example, how do you uh, solve or resolve a situation like that without potentially alienating you know, a very powerful governor in the process? Mm, well, at the end of the day, the party constitution will prevail. The National Okay Committee see, uh, has the ultimate control over how the uh, party's uh, operations are decided. And because they report, they take their mandate directly from the National Executive Committee. At the end of the day, at the end of you see that we have the financing. Uh, people, those who may be aggrieved, may not like it, we have to go to court to resolve their problems. But at the end of you see, National Okay Committee, that at the end of the day, will have the final say. Well, with, since the National Executive Committee had essentially uh, concluded that, you know, the, the party's uh, NWC would have final say over whether or not direct or indirect primary method would be implemented in the various uh, chapters around the country, do you think that ultimately, with the, with the kind of consensus that seems to be developing among state party chairmen to move against the direct primary, that there will be a shift from the next position in such a manner that state party chapters will be able to determine the method of, ele of primary election rather than the National Working Committee? Or do you think that the next decision to give the final power over that decision to the NWC will hold? Well, invariably, it is the National Committee, National Okay Committee, that we have the financing. However, the National Okay Committee will also have to consider the interest of the uh, stakeholders at the micro level. Eventually, if the consensus of opinion from the state level seems to be that they will go for the indirect uh, primary, or even if they, they want to go for consensus, at the end of the National Okay Committee will hear them and they will give an adequate consideration. Don't forget that even the use of direct primary, as beautiful as it is, is contingent upon the existence of certain factors. You have a valid uh, membership registration uh, data bank, you know, because if you don't have that, and there's the probability that your membership rank and file can be infiltrated by other people from other parties who may want to want a particular candidate to come in, then that in itself may be a problem. So there are a lot of things to still consider. How far can we go with the membership registration uh, that we are doing? How valid will the registration uh, database is going to be at the time of the primary? Once these logistical issues are taken care of, I think at the end of the day, mm -hmm. the National Working Committee will issue a final ruling.